Hi, we're here at the home ground of Lake Macquarie Dockers for the Run Against Violence program, supported by Pullman's Magenta Shores. We've got Brad Farrell, the president of um, Lake Macquarie. How are you going, Brad? Yeah, very good. A bit chilly. Yeah, having a good look at you guys training out here. You've got a young group, but they're pretty highly skilled. Um, what's the core base of your players? Yeah, they are. A lot of juniors have come through in the last couple of years, um, and that shows on the field and the results this year too. So we get off to a good start, and then they're still learning how to continue that through a game. Uh, they actually managed it in the last on the weekend, and uh, it was a very big step forward. Yeah, good win on the weekend in uh, Black Diamond Plate, and your reserve grade looks like they're, they're knocking on the door of finals. Yeah, they're thereabouts. We, we've got a couple of strong teams in that competition. Um, but, yeah, they've they're probably won, I think, 50% of their games, so they'll be around the, around the finals fourth or fifth spot uh, but yeah they're, they're they're an experienced group of guys that like their footy um, and we'll just see how they go at the end. Yeah well it's uh, good with the competition it's it's good to see the numbers you've got that you're fielding two, sen fielding two senior men's teams you probably maybe thought a couple of years ago that wouldn't be a chance. Well definitely we had to drop back to one side to um, get people training for spots and, and really get the, the feeling back in the club. Um, we lost a fair few players quite a few years ago, about four or five years ago and we've been rebuilding since then. We're right at the door of, um, of, of having a really good team. Like you said, half of our guys are probably under age of 20 so giving them another two years and playing together, uh, we're, yeah, we're very happy with the, the way it looks at the moment. Yeah, it's great that your club's so confident about the future. How do you pick up those five or six experienced players really to lead this crew into the, some success in the next few years? That's a great question. Uh, we've, that's, and that's what we're actually working on right now because that's, what, that's exactly what we're missing. Uh, we're trying to recruit from interstate and also get a few players back that may have had a couple of years off as well. Um, and we're just waiting to see what happens with the competition as well. Yeah, it's great that the, your club's organised. You've got some good sponsors that help you out. We do. Uh, we've been lucky over the last couple of years. We've built them up. Um, we've got the Argentine Hotel uh, on board, and they've been uh, great support. We've got McDonald's uh, at Edgeworth that support us. Um, there's an old boys group called For the Boys um, that have got on and are continuing that. And yeah, there's, there is a host of other ones that um, a solicitor's office from the women's team has, has been fantastic too. Yeah, that's great. And who are the prime movers around the club? Who are the people helping you out, the volunteers that we should recognise? Um, the volunteers, well, we've also always got the, the mainstay of um, John Janison. Uh, doesn't matter what job you give him, he gets it done. Uh, we've got Mick Sleeth. We've got Joe Bunny, who's been an absolute asset for me this year as treasurer. Um, it'd be remiss of me not to mention Megan. A um, little bit of work in the background. And honestly, there's, we've got a really good group, um, group of volunteers at the moment. Yeah, I think the outside perception sometimes people don't realise how hard you guys work and what you're achieving and, and also that you're confident of moving forward in the future. It's a real um, credit to you guys and the work you're putting in. Yeah, it's, um, there is a fair bit of work in the background, but we do it because we love it. And um, we have had in the last couple of years a few extra people turn up in the morning to set up and, and they, they really know what we go through. Mate, you should be really proud of your efforts. Thanks a lot for holding the night and welcoming us down here. Brad Farrell, uh, the president of Lake Macquarie Dockers.